were playing and how many gimps that they were having off stage. They are more committed to those gimps than I am to my college work. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, Sam, honestly, Sam, and getting into this game number one, we're going to be seeing the double Luke coming out from Dog and Pierre once again, and Shadow Rock and Fakie on their tried and true. We know them for this. We know them for the double scythe. Fakie on the Mordex, Shadow Rock on the Jiro. And I mean, it's it's very common, like, it's very commonly said that scythe intos it's not the best Dude, in comparison to other weapons. Just do not go off stage with them at this point. <laughs> just, oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. what I'm saying. No, no. no. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> he just went too far in for it. Fake, he's going to try and secure the knockout onto Pierre as well. I was trying to talk about that weapon loadouts. Oh, my God. But Shadow Rock is going to find the D-Sig. And yeah, this is the thing. Shadow Rock and Fakey have shown that double scythe really can work out in twos, especially when you're as terrifying oh as these God. players are! Shadow! Shadow! No, bro, 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 are they just moving on at this point? Like, <laughs> what, what is going on? They're going next at this point, man. Pierre's in trouble again! Gets caught by the Nair! Again, just do not go off stage with these people. They are oh. not scared to hit whatever <laughs> they need to hit. They are not scared to go that extra distance. Like, I think the one problem whenever you're trying to go for a clip, the one problem is like, oh, never mind, this is not going to hit. Let me let me go back. No, it's like, no. No matter how dire it looks, Shadowhawk and Fakey will go for the offstage kill. No matter yeah, how absolutely. dire it may look, they, they will go will, for it. They will full send at any given opportunity and not really slow down, but... Speaking of slowing down, the blue team is doing a decent oh, job of slowing no. down the face of the red team, but the end sig by Dog oh, nice does thing. get the recovery save, but Fakey's there to capitalize. Dog doesn't have the options. He's going to manage to make it back. He, he, he's securing the, the exhausted recovery, but he goes to oh. the ground and gets punished. He's going to live. What is How? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Oh my god. What did we- Hackle, what did we just watch? Uh, destruction, decimation, bullying. Uh, th those are the- those are the ones I can attribute to that situation. I mean, that was just- That looked like- Like, like, 2500s fighting a pair of, like, eight- Like, 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 low diamonds. Like, I- I- No- no disrespect to Dog and Pierre, but the way that they were getting absolutely cooked by that scythe. It, it wasn't looking good. We know they can they can take this. I mean, they've taken sets over over Fakie and Shadow Rock before. It's a, like they're very back and forth players. But the double Luke, I don't know. They're 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 hitting each other a lot. Like we've seen, especially on those gauntlets, there have been a lot of like close team KOs, and it's dangerous when this team, Fakie and Shadow, are so good at just capitalizing. The moment you go. Ooh. Ooh, capitalization. Yeah. I was gonna say the moment you go off stage, they're gonna capitalize, but right now they're both off stage. Blue team holding full stage control and not letting the red team get back. Shadow is going to lose that first. Oh stop. my god, man. And Fakey is soon to follow. This is what I mean. Dog and Pierre, very, very back and forth players. A double dare. Fakey's gonna make use of that DI to get under the stage and avoid any further damage, but nice oh. recovery. Fakey, Ooh, this is not away. a good spot to be in against Fakey, but like... Ooh. Now just to make it back. The amount of times I've seen Shadowhawk hit that Nair, Nair, Sair, Nair, Sair on sight has to be... It's, it's crazy. Because like, he's just on the top of the stage. Like everyone's just on the stage or on the side near the bottom of the stage, right? No. Shadowhawk is above everybody space. else. Just Nair, Sair, Nair, Sair. But it doesn't matter as they get the kills on both Shadowhawk and Fakey. They're both on to their last stock. Meanwhile, Dog is still on his first. Yeah, I mean, this nice. is a complete turnaround in comparison to what we saw last game right now. The blue team really putting the heart onto the red team. The recovery is finally going to close out that first stock of Dog. And Pierre may be soon to follow. He's going to have to learn off the side against both red team members. Finds the dare, Chase Watchers touches the wall. Dog oh, is trying to relieve oh, the no. pressure, but Pierre just can't get a touch, and he is going to go down. 
This is looking a bit more doable for the red team now. But they're not going to be able to capitalize, capitalize too much against Dog. Left alone, Pierre. Back on the stage, Gauntlet's in hand. Fakey, the most damaged player on the board right here, but still not afraid to go in hard with that scythe. Dog needs to play this front seat. Pierre is on that final stock. And it's, I mean, it's really slowed down. For these final stocks of the red team, they've actually started to, to like, turn down the heat a little bit. I don't know how I feel about that because the heat is what makes them so dangerous as we see the team combo come in. They don't find the finishing blow, but Fakey is gone and Shadow Aww. is soon to follow as the side air stage spikes. A dog and Pierre are going to put their names on the board and bring us into a game three. Incredible job coming out from Dog and Pierre that second game. Yeah, like you said, they took the time to slow down and pay attention to what they were doing and like turn down the heat. That was Fakey and Shadowhawk by just staying on stage, trying their best to just stay on stage. Because clearly the moment they went off stage against either of their sites, it was not going to be a good story. Three, two, one, so one. as we go into this game three, Pierre and Dog, Sh Sh ah, Shadowhawk and Fakey, Still picking on to their same characters. But let's see how they go. Now that they both know how to uh, deal with this set, they both adapted a little bit into what they need to do in order to take this win. 